again viewers you are welcome to this class here we want to solve this problem and uh, you are finding the value of m in this equation you are just joining us subscribe to this channel for more of our videos and ensure you watch these videos to the end in order to gain maximally from it now here let us multiply the power here uh, by 2 divided by 2 so we we'll say 2 raised to power here raised to power 2 over 2 it's like we have not done anything there because 2 over 2 is still 1 then let's do the same thing here that's 2 raised to power here then raised to power 2 over 2 equals to 65 then we can write this as one of the two let one of the two come in you know law of indices says the power here can multiply each other so we can write this one as 2 raised to power m over 2 then all squared now so one of these two has come in then minus also this side 2 raised to power m over 2 then all square as well equals to 65 then let us use a letter to represent 2 raised to power m over 2 and also use a letter to represent 2 raised to power m over 2 so let's say let x equals to let x be equals to 2 raised to power m over 2 and uh, let y be equals to 2 raised to power m over 2 then we can write this equation as so when we write that equation we now have x squared so we can say we have x squared minus y squared equals to 65 and this is in form of difference of two squares now so when we factor two squares you know we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y then equals to 65 so this is what we have so these two numbers multiply together and the result gives us 65 now let us look at that we can see that from here for this to occur when we break this 65 down these are the way we can break our 65 down we can say this is 65 we can say this 1 times 65 we give us 65 also 65 times 1 now also we can say that's 5 times 13 uh, 65 here and also 13 times 5 make sure you watch the end you will see you know that this is interesting and also when we look at this number you can see that our x is greater than y and which is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 because x is greater than y now that means this one cannot work because if this everything is 1 and this one is 65 it means that this one is not, is not applicable because 1 this first bracket is expected to be greater than the second bracket so the first bracket here is expected to be because x plus y will be more than x minus y so this one will not work similarly this one will not work so this one is more but now here is 1 so and this one will not give us you know one because of what we have also now let's test this one 5 times 13 5 times 13 as well will not work because here cannot be 5 and here will be 13 so addition of the two should be greater than so let's look at this last one so this is not work this is not work also this one will work now when we check it you can see that the first bracket x plus y that's you know 13 which is expected to be greater than x minus y which is 5 so we can now see that our x minus y will be 13 then our x sorry our x plus y will be 13 and our x minus y will be 5 so let's solve this two equation now equation 1 equation 2 so by the time we solve these equations simultaneously we can add let's say we had to eliminate y we now have 2x equals to 18 and by the time you divide both sides by 2 we can say that x will be equal to 9 
and also we can get our y from there by substituting s equals to 9 here in any of the equation so if s equals to 9 in equation 1 you can take 9 here now y will now be equals to 13 minus 9 and that will be 4 so that means y is 4 and then x is 9 don't forget the value of our x we say our x is 3 raised to the power m over 2 3 raised to the power m over 2 that's our x and which is equals to 9 and we can say this is 3 raised to the power m over 2 equals to 9 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power 2 so we can equate the power since the base are equal and say this is m over 2 equals to 2 there's over 1 cross multiply so from here our m will now be equal to 2 times 2 which is 4 similarly when you test this since our y is 2 raised to the power m over 2 and which is equal to 4 similarly you can say this is 2 raised to the power m over 2 equals to 2 raised to the power 2 as well we can say that as m over 2 equals to 2 in both cases our m is equal to 4 so in both cases our m equals to 4 then we can check from the question and test whether our m will be 4 so you can test that from the question given 3 raised to the power m minus 2 raised to the power m equals to 65 when you substitute the value of m there you will see that this will be 3 raised to the power 4 that's 81 minus 3 raised to the power 4 that's 16 81 minus 16 that will give us 65 so that's the solution to the problem and uh, if you are just joining us don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos thank you for watching see you in the next class and bye for now